Okay, I quickly fixed my problem because it was not giving me a good full vision of Tim. So we wanted to see that he's out here cruising the parking lot, obviously. Um, so uh, let's go, Tim. Let's see what happens as you head to the McDonald's. I don't know if this was, if he's got his his order of his videos out differently. Because it seems like, why are you heading to McDonald's when the first thing I saw was you with a cup of coffee from McDonald's? Unless he's going there for lunch. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, let's make sure he's at 1.25. I can't take him at normal speed. All right, Tim. I've already wasted way too much time and lost probably 40,000 viewers. Oh, take it away, Tim. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarah Soda, Tim. Coming to you from the parking lot here at the Riverside Casino in fun. Laughlin, Nevada. <laughs> And I just made a video walking the parking lot, showing you guys a bunch of boats and announcing my departure tomorrow morning to Reno, Nevada. And I'm going to be going to a very nice RV park that's uh, going to have more casinos and stuff, just kind of like this area here. I've really uh, enjoyed being this kind of an atmosphere. Uh, this is that orange boat I was looking at a minute ago. Check this thing out. This thing's got two 400 horsepower outboard motors on it. It's called the Eliminator. <laughs> Those outboard motors there are about, I don't know. I don't know. Tim's videos are coming out in all sorts of strange orders today. Okay. So this first th video that came out was that short McDonald's video. Then came heading to McDonald's. And then came the morning chat. And then came whatever else. His drive to Reno. So... I'm going by the order that he releases these videos, and this was the second one to come out. And then he had the morning chat. So who knows? <laughs> as I said, I just respond as it happens. And this is what's happening. Oh, take it away, Tim. 60, 70 grand each. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of boats in town. Eliminator boats, uh, secure parking. So all these are eliminators. Must be some kind of show going on. Sizzling, Summer Cash, June. Oh, there it is. They're talking about the boats. Oh, I guess there's going to be some races or something up at the lake. Anyway, let's take a walk over to the... Um, you wander these parking lots all the time. How were you not aware they were going to be having this event this weekend? Because all you do is wander the parking lot of the Riverside Hotel or whatever it's called. How you were not aware that they were having this... I'm not surprised. He was he was off. It's McDonald's get ourselves a there. best cup of coffee we ever drank in our life mm. at the um, Aquarius Casino, mm. and uh, I did park my truck way back, so I'm getting some steps in this morning. So yeah, going to uh, going to Reno tomorrow morning. I uh, got to do some laundry today. Going to take advantage of the uh, the laundromat right here at the uh, at the RV park, mm. and I'm parked just up there. So uh, hey, good morning. So. Uh, Sorry. I'm going to get that done, prepare okay. everything to leave. I'm very excited about it. I'll be going to Vegas and seeing Johnny Vegas and uh, having lunch with him. Mm. And then driving all day. And I might have to... Well, I finally get to see what Johnny Vegas looks like. There are probably videos with him in the past. I just haven't probably watched them. Just give me a heads up. <laughs> crash somewhere and finish up my drive the next morning uh, to Reno. Uh, the only thing I'm finding a little disconcerting about going up there is uh, it's the biggest little city in the world, as they're saying. And from YouTube videos I've been watching, it seems, you know, very nice. The golf doesn't seem to be as affordable as <laughs> Reno. some of the golf courses around the area oh. here or that would have been in Cedar City. Well, you're going to have to get yourself a deal, aren't you, Tim? <laughs> You'll have to get yourself some type of deal. Oh my goodness. He's off to Reno? Are you off to the Bunny Ranch? God, they would hate you as a customer. Cheap tipper. City and St. George. So my amount of golfing might uh, might not be as much. So it'll be quality golf instead of quantity golf. And I'm just really hooked on the golf right now. So Yeah, because you, know, you got no friends and you're not influencing people. <laughs> Uh, Tim, I always know when you don't have a friend around, and I think everybody else in the community has started to be aware that when you feel specifically lonely, you spit out more content than anyone knows what to do with. So I guess you're kind of trying to sort of fill the gaps of loneliness 
by talking to the camera and then uploading it and then you'll get to see the comments and then you feel like you're interacting with people. I, I understand. I live alone. I have no family. <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, it's kind of some of us had very small families and then when they all deceased, unfortunately, it left you with no family. <laughs> it's kind of my situation. Um, but uh, I guess I've lived in my same neighborhood for 20 years over 20 years, actually. And so I'll say hi to my neighbors. I obviously have a few friends. Um, but I mean, life gets a little different when you get older, especially if you've been somebody, you know, like me has never had, you know, um, who's been more, I guess, um, focused on uh, work rather than um, all things to do with the family, you know? And so, yeah, um, well, because I didn't really have much family. <laughs> there was no reason to focus. Um, but I have hobbies and things that fill my time, obviously school, you know, and so forth. And, and Tim is, I feel is a lost soul out here at this moment. Anyway, I talked enough about myself. Carry on, Tim. Uh, maybe I'll find a deal or something will happen. They got these apps called golf now and different things they put in, they put on these things called hot deals and you know, you gotta be able to act and jump on it and reserve it and go at that time and all that. Well, it's going to be 103 to 106, I think today here in Laughlin, Nevada, with higher temperatures obviously coming as July and August approach uh, the future here. So that is not my future. <laughs> uh, Reno happens to be, I think it's only about uh, four or 5,000 foot sea level. It's not. Have you made sure there's a space at an RV park before you just head out there? Have you called ahead? Have you found the prices out? Did you find out if they have a resort fee? Have you done actually any genuine research and talking to people in Reno rather than just watching YouTube videos? Because I would recommend that you plan a little bit further ahead. I don't know. We'll see what disaster he shows up at. That high. Makes me but we do it. have Tahoe, baby, Tahoe, and some beautiful drives and California uh, mountains and things like that. Uh, to drive and bring you guys some some beautiful video and obviously some very good hiking and walking areas uh, that Miss T and I. Tim, you stick to the interstates. <laughs> okay. I mean, luckily the landscape in that area is pretty eye-catching, but you're still traveling from an interstate. Just say. Well, hopefully... Uh, take advantage of. She loves to walk and I need more of it. I'm out of breath this morning. So I uh, definitely want to get, um, you know, sharing our meals going. Maybe you should start walking around that golf course then, Tim, instead of taking your, instead of being a lazy butt and taking the cart <laughs> and driving up. You probably drive onto the greens. Probably one of those people. Going again, eating healthier than I've been doing and having my uh, sidekick. So a change of life again. Well, what do you mean? You, you started out with your, your $2 breakfast app, you know, bacon, egg and cheese muffin this morning. <laughs> or sausage. I don't know which one you had. I don't know the healthy start to the day. Where's your fruit? I don't think I've ever seen this man eat a piece of fruit. Has this man ever ate fruit or a vegetable that we're aware of? would not want to be his bowels in um for both of us and a goal of, of playing around uh with the flagstaff and seeing the country uh like retired people do and then make our way uh through the uh door i feel like it's a little bit of an insult for you to call yourself retired tim one you crank out more youtube videos than any god-given person on this earth <laughs> And secondly, you never really worked enough to be ever retired. You were retired the minute you came onto the planet. That's what I'm sensing. You've been a, a shirker of work most of your life. And so for you to have the audacity to talk about retirement is just a kick in the eye to people who actually do work and have genuinely earned a retirement. You, on the other hand, sir, are just a loafer and a sponger and a taker.
and you're going to try to take from Miss Tammy. And if she's smart enough, she won't fall for this shenanigans. But of course, God will open for not. us I don't know. Uh, to find somewhere to squat. I hope she's smart enough. And uh, whether we rent, she's lease, buy, <laughs> squat, I don't know. But, of course, uh, Miss T wants her own kitchen, her own bathtub, and her own vanity mirror. So she's not going to be in no RV forever. Myself, I love sticks and bricks as well. But this new lifestyle that I, that I live as a single person, I'm adaptable and I can do anything. Well, you have to stay single, Tim, because if you are on your ex-spouse's Social Security, one of the caveats is you can't get remarried if you want to keep that SS. So if you were to remarry someone, you lose that Social Security. It'd be based on what you earned. And I don't know how much that is, because I'd be interested to see what your Social Security would be. But uh, that's one of the rules. You're never going to be able to remarry. If as long as you're claiming that spousal benefit. So seems like you'll be forever a single man, hey? Mm, ladies, come get this one. He won't marry you because he wants that $1,700 a month of that free SS money. Just giving you heads up. I have a very nice camper. <laughs> and traveling around and meeting nice people is fine for me. But I want it all. And so we're going to yes, have it do. all. We're going to have each other. Mm. We're going to have travel. And we're going to have our own place. Oh. And uh, we've met. Oh, because... Uh... <laughs> You know, because now she's inherited the money from her deceased husband. I'm sure his children will be just so, so happy that the man who was having an adulterous affair with their mother while their father was still alive is now going to be enjoying the benefits of all of his years of work. So that Sponger Tim can go pop his butt there and park his RV up there. Tammy, you're a fool. You're an absolute fool. And if you think this man's going to be any nicer to you once you've signed your name to the house, because he's got nothing. I promise you, showing up to Wells Fargo with a 100K plaque, they'd be like, what the are you doing? <sighs> Somebody said that to you as a joke, Tim. Okay? That was a joke to whoever you spoke to at the bank. They didn't really mean it. <laughs> You're going to have to go in there with a solid handful of, a, of cash. And then they're going to want to know how you got it. <laughs> so you better be keeping good records. Some great people. We'll continue meeting great people uh, that we'll be able to uh, revisit and re rekindle our memories and do things together and just enjoy the rest of our lives because life is to live, not to. You treat that woman like garbage, literally. I mean, for what I've seen that time when you were filming and she was taking out the garbage the, and the rubbish and stuff and you just stood there like irritated that she 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 came into your shot. Uh, I I would be ugh, I, I I could not tolerate somebody like Tim. If I you know probably one of the reasons why I stay single because I actually expect that the people that I partner with are going to share in the responsibilities of the home or whatever. I would not want to marry a mooching, sponging taker who doesn't do anything and wants to play at the golf course all day. Why the, would I be wanting to put that into a house? <sighs> Couldn't imagine a worse scenario. Tim, you're the reason, you're one of the reasons why I never want to date again. Because I'm I'm scared there's too many men, men like you out there waiting to get women who've got actually some accomplishments behind them. You just want to sponge and take from us. Ugh. Endure. Right. So get you're out there today and, a... and live your best life for sure. Just a and so um, I want to say that <laughs> Don't being be here in Laughlin has been just a true experience. It's kind of I mean, it's, it's just irritating to hear that this man is talking about buying a house based on the death of somebody that was supposedly a friend of his. And while he had been having an affair with this man's husband, and now he's going to turn around and. I, if I was his children, I would want to get upset. I think, Tim, you deserve to be in the RV for the rest of your life. I really just think you are really, this just shows the lack of character you have as a human being. Let Tammy stay by her family, please. You're trying to take this woman from her family. And that, to me, is somebody that shows a sign of potential abuse. Because anybody who tries to isolate someone from their loved ones and from their family, or at least uh, abuse in the sense of control. 
Okay. I don't mean necessarily he's going to put a hand on her. So I want to clarify that. Um, I mean, in the respect of control and controlling her because she'll be so far from her family. If I was Tammy, I would not want to put myself in that situation. Not with this gentleman. I wouldn't trust this gentleman. I know she's known you for a long time. I've known you through these videos and I would not trust you. You got too much of the gift of the gab. You're too much of what they call in the United States, I learned the term, an operator. So that's kind of your way of being, you know, duck and dong even. We were talking about this <laughs> British person I you, you know, what I, we call a wide boy. And I wouldn't trust you. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. Made it very exciting as a way to live. I'm going to avoid the door for a minute because we got music over there. And I got to get into that McDonald's. In fact, we're going to walk around this way over here. Oh, Next to this on the bicycle. We, we support the blue around here too. You know what? I want you to go to Scotland and have a McDonald's and tell them McDonald and watch you get clobbered. <laughs> Especially if you do that to someone in Glasgow. Okay, because they're gonna—they'll just tell you straight out. <laughs> I promise you, people don't mess in Scotland, man. All right, you want to talk about some some rough places? Go to Glasgow, certain parts of Glasgow. Good luck. I like to pop Tim in one of those areas and let him talk about McDonald's all day. See how long he lasts before he gets a Glaswegian smile. You folks, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> this kind of uh, travel and this kind of an atmosphere with the. Um, touristy, the casinos, the desert, uh, the Colorado River, mountains, just really the whole flavor of it is just, I've just really liked it. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good. Um, it's really, uh, one of those. the people have been just fantastic. Oh, he's just one of those. I say hi to everybody. Oh, just, oh, these are the people that I always am suspicious of. <laughs> Not that I don't say hi to people on pass when I'm walking my dogs. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, I feel like, uh, you know, you're supposed to be video videoing your YouTube thing, but you're going to turn around and keep saying hi to people? Oh, come on, Tim. Stop it. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, you can tell I'm on day seven with Tim. But this is just, I just don't like the fact that this person, the way he's trying to get this house. I just think if Miss Tammy was smart, she just would not listen to this. I, I mean, is this really what her dream is? This dude? Girl, after the way he treated you when you hurt yourself, can you imagine being alone and far from your family and stuck with this individual? Stuck. Stuck in a house with him. The minute he crosses that threshold, girl, you, 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 it would be impossible to get him out. He'd be a full-time squatter, even if you asked him to leave. He wouldn't leave. Tim is one of those people that I would feel that he wouldn't leave. Ugh. Uh, I, I love the Walmarts here. They're all so well-kept and organized. People are so helpful and friendly. Uh, the demographics are pretty much this entire area are people my age. Mm. Okay. A little younger and a little older. <laughs> there is no, because there's no real jobs here, you know, for the people that are still working, um, you know, with their prison jobs and, Ugh. paying off their debt and raising their children and things like that. Well, there is in their school. Well, well, Tim, I hear that you didn't really do a great job raising your kids because you didn't provide them with health insurance. And then you moved them around consistently so that they couldn't even like maintain a, you know, a solid educational base because that's important for kids. But it's all about Tim at the end of the day. You know, you, sir, are cranking out videos like a prison job. Okay, and if you keep with the shenanigans with the gun range, the GUN range, and shooting across roads, <laughs> you might actually find yourself in prison with a prison job. What about that? Making license plates. Can't think of anything more fitting for you, Tim. Schools and all that. It's it's. I guess the average age is probably, you know, retired type people. So I know I just like it. Uh, it's only about forty three thousand people here, and uh, that that feels very good to me. Reno, I've seen some videos already. It's a the world's largest big, the, the world's largest big, the world's, I can get it out. Hang on. Let's get some coffee. It's the world's biggest small city. I forget the motto. Anyway, small it's got freeways city. and buildings and it's spread out. It's a lot more than we have here for sure. I don't know what the population is. I'll have to look I into it. I don't know. But that. it is truly don't, don't quote me. a lot more than we got around here. What we have here is a little strip 
and Bullhead City is a longer strip with everything that you need. And Reno is more of a little city, but it's so close to everything. Everything's got geographics. And what I like about that is because, you know, like I said earlier, you got um, Tahoe right next door. And there's here we go. We got Tim's stream of consciousness again. Tim's planning his life and we get to hear about it. When you <laughs> feel like me just telling you about my day. Oh, goodness, Tim, keep going. Other places you can visit too, Carson City, uh, but a lot of beautiful trees and mountains. And it's going to completely change the landscape from the desert. So looking forward to it. Let's go in here now and get us a, uh, a coffee and maybe a breakfast sandwich. And then I'm going to think about getting that laundry done. I do have to hit Walmart, though, and oh. pick up a couple of things. No. And just I want to be preparing today uh, to hook her up in the morning. Pull this. I don't want a Walmart trip. <laughs> Please. If I want to see a store, I'll go to a store. Don't take me to a ding Walmart. Nobody wants to see a Walmart. If you're going to go to a good store, you know, go to something good, like a Wegmans or something. Slides in. Uh, get over to see Johnny Vegas <laughs> and uh, crush it. Oh, no. No, you're not crushing anything but my, my mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, like I said, he is the one who put out the order of his videos. I'm responding as they have been put out. So once again, Tim is continuing on his journey to get Tammy's money and have her buy him a house because Tim doesn't have anything. I'm sure Cr Tim has no credit for a home. So it probably be, have to be cashed down for the two of them, I'm thinking. Because I don't think either would have the um, income probably to secure a mortgage at this time. Since I don't think Miss Tammy works currently unless she's still working in the store. And I don't think that would be an income to secure a mortgage, unfortunately. So, girl. Miss mm -mm -mm. Tammy, if you have anything of wisdom about you, I would steer clear of that, uh, Grifter. <laughs> I know Grifter, they, we said they, we use that word a lot. But in this case, he's grifting hard. All right, guys. Sorry. Oh, got my allergies all up in here. I'm going to have to get out of here so I can have oh, a little dinner and get back to more Tim. All right, guys. Let me get going. Oh, my goodness. I'm moving cameras and stuff. I'm almost healed, but I'm probably going to be more on antibiotics because I need to get better. All right, guys. Uh, and those of you who sent me for some coffees, thank you so much. I, you'll get a personal thank you from me, but I did see that. I, I really appreciate it. I really do. It's going to help me fuel up for grad school. So thank you. All right, guys. Let me just say, you know, the usual. I know it's cheesy, but, you know, YouTube likes us to tell people to subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. I just know we do it. But it really does help. And I love seeing when people join. It actually does get you excited. I can see why Tim gets excited. All right, guys. And, of course, always, my wonderful uh, channel members who put up with my <laughs> weird content sometimes but are very supportive and just a great group of people. All right. I can't wait to see you on the next one because we got morning chat. Oh.